In the heart of our natural world, a symbol of strength and resilience stands tall, the oak tree. But these giants are more than just towering figures. They are the guardians of our ecosystem and the bearers of our history. The vital ecological role of oak trees cannot be overstated. These majestic trees provide shelter, sustenance, and security for countless species. Their leaves nourish the forest floor, and acorns are a feast for creatures big and small. In this video we will delve into some of the most incredible facts about oak trees, their importance to the ecosystem and their cultural significance. Any guesses when oak trees first appeared in the world? Well, Fossil evidence indicates that the oak family has been a part of our planet's landscape for at least 56 million years, making it one of the most ancient organisms on the planet. The oak is a member of the beech family, which includes other popular trees such as the maple and the birch. The oak is one of the most common trees in the world, and can be found in every continent except Antarctica. There are some 500 known species of oaks. The genus Quercus, which is the Latin term for oak, is native to the northern hemisphere and includes deciduous and evergreen species extending from cool temperate to tropical latitudes in the Americas, Asia, Europe, and North Africa. So, with so many species how can I recognize an oak tree? Oak trees are easily identified by their leaves, bark, and fruit. The leaves of oak trees are usually lobed, with deep veins and a rough texture. The edges of the leaves are often notched or pointed. Oak leaves typically have a glossy finish and come in a variety of shapes and sizes, depending on the species. Oak trees are also known for their acorns. These small, dark, egg-shaped fruits are often seen on the ground beneath oak trees. Bark is another distinguishing characteristic of oak trees. The bark is usually gray and deeply furrowed. It can range in texture from smooth to rough and flaky. Additionally, oak tree bark has ridges and furrows that run vertically down the trunk and often have a diamond-shaped pattern. By looking closely at the bark, you can often discern whether a tree is an oak or not. Besides that you will notice that oak trees tend to have branches that grow at a wide angle, which can also help you identify them. But what makes the oak trees so special? Well, many factors do. Ecologically, Oaks are keystone species in habitats from Mediterranean semi-desert to subtropical rainforest. They live in association with many kinds of fungi including truffles. In fact, truffle farmers plant oaks instead of truffles because they will naturally grow under the tree. According to Douglas Tallamy, an esteemed entomologist and longtime professor at the University of Delaware, renowned for his works such as, The Nature of Oaks, the rich ecology of our most essential native trees and the bestseller, Nature's Best Hope, oaks stand as unparalleled champions in the world of trees. They play host to a greater variety of life forms than any other tree genus, offering sustenance and shelter to a remarkable spectrum of creatures, ranging from birds to bears, not to mention the myriad insects and spiders that contribute to this astonishing biodiversity. Furthermore, oaks facilitate an abundance of what he refers to as fascinating interactions. To better understand their importance consider these facts. Oak trees support 897 caterpillar species in the United States alone. Of the food eaten by insects, birds and other animals, 75% comes from a few key genera, and oaks lead the list. Birds forage longer in oaks, which, again, is often about caterpillars. High-value food especially during breeding season, when they are prime baby food. An oak can produce 3 million acorns in its lifetime, tons of protein, fat and carbohydrates, and a mature tree can drop as many as 700,000 leaves every year. The resulting litter is habitat for beneficial organisms, and the tree's canopy and root system are important in water infiltration, helping rain percolate instead of running off, and purifying it in the process. Oak trees also sequester carbon. In fact, they the highest amount of biomass compared to any other tree species, working harder to clean the air than many other tree species. As Mr. Tallamy puts it, a yard without oaks is a yard meeting only a fraction of its life support potential. The relationships between oak trees and other animals are complex and multifaceted, contributing to the overall biodiversity and health of the ecosystems in which they are found. Let's have a look at some of them. Oaks and jays evolved together about 60 million years ago, in what is now Southeast Asia. 
Jays grew so adapted to life alongside oaks that a small hook at the tip of their bill is designed to rip open an acorn husk. The bird's expanded esophagus, a gular pouch, can hold up to five acorns, each one buried in a different spot, to be eaten later. Except some are forgotten and never retrieved. And you know what comes next. Mighty oaks from little acorns grow. Because they contain concentrations of lignins and tannins, natural chemicals that retard breakdown, oak leaves decompose slower than most tree leaves. Hopefully, gardeners should see them as priceless litter, not debris to vacuum, shred, or, worse, burn. The diversity and abundance of the little creatures that reside in the leaf litter that accumulates beneath an oak is astounding and easily exceeds counts in the millions. What's happening with all those arthropods? Well, they have different roles. Some are hunkering down for the winter, seeking refuge until better weather arrives. Others play the role of detritivores, nature's cleanup crew, without which the entire system would fall apart. In addition to these arthropods, many fungi also find a home in the leaf litter of oak trees. According to Mr. Talamy, if the leaf litter disappears, so do the decomposers. These decomposers include not only the arthropods but also the fungi and bacteria that many of them feed on, as well as the mycorrhizae that help plant roots absorb essential nutrients. But there's more to oak leaf litter. It possesses some practical superpowers that can be a real boon for gardeners dealing with two particularly aggressive invasive species. Japanese stiltgrass struggles in areas with a thick layer of oak litter, and it also appears to deter the soil eroding Asian jumping worms. The oak mining bee, also known as Andrina quercus, is a species of solitary bee that is specialized in its association with oak trees. Here's what we know about the oak mining bee. Oak mining bees are relatively small, measuring around 8 to 12 millimeters in length. They have a generally reddish brown to black coloration, and the males and females may have some differences in their physical characteristics. These bees are typically found in temperate regions, especially in Europe and North America, where oak trees are abundant. They tend to nest in sandy or loose soil near oak trees. The name, mining bee, comes from their nesting behavior. Female oak mining bees construct burrows in the ground near the base of oak trees. These burrows can be quite deep and have side branches. Each burrow serves as an individual nest for a single female bee. They are important pollinators for oak trees, aiding in their reproduction. Oak mining bees are solitary bees, meaning they don't live in colonies like honeybees. The female bee lays eggs in the individual nesting chambers she constructs. Each chamber contains a ball of pollen and nectar, upon which an egg is laid. After hatching, the larva consumes this stored food and eventually pupates before emerging as an adult bee. Like many native bee species, oak mining bees face threats from habitat loss, pesticide use, and climate change. Protecting their habitats and planting native oaks can help support these bees and other wildlife that rely on them. Another thing you should know is that the leaves and acorns of oaks are poisonous to livestock, including cattle and horses, if eaten in large amounts, due to the toxin tannic acid, which causes kidney damage and gastroenteritis. An exception is the domestic pig, which, under the right conditions, may be fed entirely on acorns, and has traditionally been pastured in oak woodlands. Humans can eat acorns after leaching out the tannins in water. Humans have also found many uses for the oak tree. Throughout history, oak, prized for its closed cell structure and tannin preservatives, has been the favored timber for building many ships. Oak bark, with its high tannin content, was traditionally used in the old world for tanning leather. Oak galls were used for centuries as a main ingredient in iron gall ink for manuscripts, harvested at a specific time of year. The dried bark of the white oak was used in traditional medical preparations. Its tannic acid content made it astringent and antiseptic. Acorns have been ground to make a flour, and roasted for acorn coffee. Barrels for aging wines, sherry, and spirits such as brandy and scotch whiskey are made from oak. Oak barrels, which may be charred before use, contribute to their contents color, taste, and aroma, imparting a desirable oaky vanillin flavor. The bark of the cork oak is used to produce cork stoppers for wine bottles. This species grows around the Mediterranean Sea. Portugal, Spain, 
Algeria, and Morocco produce most of the world's supply. Portuguese are also known for their use and manufacturing of the natural cork material they earnestly harvest from cork oak trees. One cork oak can yield about 100 pounds of cork bark when ripe, which takes place every nine years. While the tree itself can live up to 200 years, the harvesting does not harm the tree, and trees are marked to ensure proper harvesting. A lot of what Portugal has to offer is made from biodegradable, renewable resource cork, doubling down on making everyday items. Fashion brands and textile companies have found ways to apply the material to a plethora of garments and other fashion and lifestyle products, as well as in their design aesthetic. Unfortunately, an estimated 31% of the world's oak species are threatened with extinction, while 41% of oak species are considered to be of conservation concern. Leading causes are climate change and invasive pests in the U.S., and deforestation and urbanization in Asia. In the Himalayan region of India, oak forests are being invaded by pine forests due to global warming. The associated pine forest species may cross frontiers and integrate into the oak forests. Over the past 200 years, large areas of oak forest in the highlands of Mexico, Central America, and the northern Andes have been cleared for coffee plantations and cattle ranching. There is a continuing threat to these forests from exploitation for timber, fuelwood, and charcoal. In the U.S., Entire oak ecosystems have declined due to a combination of factors. The protection of oak trees is essential for the health and vitality of our ecosystems. Their significance extends beyond ecology, touching on culture and history. As we've explored in this video, oak trees are keystone species that underpin the health of our forests. So, let's make a concerted effort to safeguard these ancient giants, ensuring a brighter, more sustainable future for all. If you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing for more Planet Wisdom.